An RV campsite has been turned into a morbid morgue, covered in blood and the remains of numerous unidentified bodies. It's hard to believe that such a brutal massacre could have happened in this day and age, especially at such a secure location. It only took the rescue crew 20 minutes to respond to the emergency call, but by the time they arrived, it was too late. There were no survivors, and consequently no witnesses. So the mystery remains. Who or what could have done this? It seems too massive and malicious for a single human to have done it, or several for that matter. There were dark forces at work here, and no one's talking about it. It happened four days ago, and the place has been dead quiet ever since. There's not really a mission given at the outset this time around, it's just that we have to make it out of the campsite alive. And now we can use our second character, Kevin. Stats-wise, the only difference between him and Eriko is that Kevin has a bit more stamina. But as you'll see, there's a particular reason that I wouldn't bother with using him normally. Now the sign here says that we're in Camp David. It's a little misleading since this is not the presidential retreat, so I don't know why they chose that name. Uh, this Camp David has its own history to uncover. That line always makes little bile rise up at the back of my throat. Yes, well, the history of this camp has to do with farming and production of worms for food purposes. It was a hot new thing, you see. Everyone got tired of eating cow and decided that they wanted a nice thick worm burger instead. But the bubble burst when everyone realized that they were eating worms. Police tape here preventing us from accessing the campsite, but over here is an item sensor. It makes items appear on the map and we can use it to see that there's an item over in the left hand corner here. My horror monitor! What's the matter with you? Give it back! After that hat-wearing monkey. Uh, that was our first look at a Mon Killer, which is a nasty little enemy that'll give us a lot more trouble than the crash test dummies did in the first level. The Mon Killer tole, uh, tore down the police tape, so we can now enter the campsite. Somebody help me! 
The horror monitor apparently has an alternate use that we weren't aware of. Ooh, frightening. What could be causing those shakes? Well, the title of the level gave it away. We're dealing with giant worms here. And as the asphalt ends, leaving a trail of bare dirt, to, uh, bare dirt for us to cross, well, if you've seen Tremors, then you probably get what's going on here. Now, we can see a worm coming right at us, but we're going to try to dodge it. And yes, we were able to get out of the way. Since we don't have a weapon yet, we don't want to deal with, uh, with a worm right now. Now, the metal pipe is our weapon for this level, and it is the worst weapon in the game. It has a much shorter range than the home run bat, but you really have to get up close to an enemy to use it. Now, the game says that blood spills from the pipe at night. Wonderful, that doesn't actually happen. But now that we have a weapon, inadequate as it is, and since there is a worm right there chomping at the bit to get at us, we might as well have our first worm encounter here. Now, take a look at this. All the characters besides Eriko do this when they're surprised by an enemy. They fall on the ground and crawl around for a bit before getting back up. Enemies can attack at will during this time, but the worst part is that the heart rate skyrockets while Kevin's on the ground. Notice the heart rate, it's at 119 now. It was at 50 before the fight. Now, fighting the worms are a pain with the metal pipe. You have to wait for them to pop out of the ground and get right up to them to give them a whack. You have to be quick about it or it'll dive back into the ground before you can get your hit in. And you have to keep running around while the worm is underground, otherwise it'll come up under you. This fight is probably going to take a while. And I'm going to try to skip worm encounters after this one. I'm going to try to dodge them. But let's just, uh, we'll just do this one all the way through. Get an idea of one of the main enemies of this level, the worm. As you can see, that metal pipe has virtually no range at all. The home run bat in the last level had a good deal of range, but this one, you pretty much have to be standing immediately next to the enemy in order for the hit to register. As you can see, the helicopter pad is uh, here in this level, so yes, our magical helicopter escape mechanism is, uh, does still exist in this level. Makes a bit more sense uh, in this one than the last one, as the ladder is not actually coming down through a ceiling. But uh, we won't be using it for this fight. Now, this fellow is taking a lot of hits. Seems like a, an inordinate amount of hits. Most enemies would have gone down by now. And finally, our wormy friend does go down. We get some adrenaline, no point to it because we don't have a horror monitor. Now, I could make a beeline to the exit, but I do want to get all of the items that are scattered around this area. I don't have to do that, I suppose, but I really want to. The item sensor would tell us where everything is, so fortunately we don't have to guess if there's an item in this corner or that. Now, the big threat in this area is dying from shock. Uh, you saw how much Kevin's pulse increased from that one fight. Since we don't have the horror monitor, we will be unable to tag any enemy encounters, which means that all encounters will increase Kevin's pulse. Fortunately, there aren't any traps in this level. Yes, I know. The game spends all the last level getting us to understand how the game works, what with the traps and the defusing and all. 
and then they go and have no traps or harm on it to use in the second level. Well, that's ill bleed for you. This level is much less generous with its items than uh, the first level was. You pretty much have to go out of your way to find anything, but there are a couple important items that we can find in this area here.